Hello from Ursuline College. Ursuline is a small women-focused liberal arts school in Pepper Pike, which is a suburb of Cleveland, Ohio. Ursuline is a recognized leader in healthcare-related fields. My name is Lynn Ulatowski, and my colleague Lita Yu teach cellular and biochemical processes lecture and lab respectively. Like many of our upper division courses, lecture material is supported by laboratory experiences. In the laboratory, Dr. Yu focused on introducing and reinforcing technical skills used in cellular and biochemistry laboratory along with scientific experiments. The semester culminated with student groups creating their own curriculum-based research experience or CURE. In groups of two to three, the students chose an experimental method they learned throughout the semester and extended the experiment by changing and investigating two parameters. The students were then tasked with writing a protocol, ensuring that they had all the materials and equipment they needed, followed by several weeks of data collection. The students were responsible for taking their new ideas from concept to presenting a research poster at the Ursuline College Research Symposium. This was a great feat for a one semester class. Today we pre present to you Giselle Scipione, a junior biology major who plans to pursue public health Ashley Fornes, a sophomore pre-med major, and Ariana Carter, a sophomore pre-med major. Giselle, Ashley, and Ari compared the mitochondrial activity of si similar muscles in Gerolodea, Parasius aratus, and Gallius gallius domestica. Thank you, Dr. Yulta. Introduction. I'm Ariana, and a little bit of background is organisms rely on the energy stored in the chemical bonds of the glucose molecules to live, grow, and reproduce. For our research, we wanted to determine the rate of glycolysis between three subjects cricket, chicken, and goldfish in their adaptive, adaptive muscle regions. <clears throat> We hypothesize that the quadrupedal, which is the region between the dorsal fin and the tail of a goldfish, will have the fastest cellular respiration rate due to fish utilizing an excess amount of energy in that region compared to the cricket and chicken's comparative anatomical locales. To test our hypothesis, we needed to isolate our tissue samples from each subject. We isolated the thigh and thorax tissue samples from our cricket, as well as the thigh and back tissue samples from our chicken. In addition, we collected tissue samples from the goldfish in that hump you see in between that dorsal fin and their head, as well as that muscle called the caudal peduncle that is in between the tail and the dorsal fin. And that's the one that goes left and right and helps them swim along. Once we isolated those tissue samples, we homogenized them with cold buffer and filter them through a cheesecloth. We used methylene blue as an indicator for glycolysis. Um, our tubes would stay dark blue if they did not consume oxygen, meaning ATP was not able to be made. They turned white if they consumed oxygen and let us know that ATP was made and glycolysis was complete. Once our samples were um, had the biochemical analysis components in them, we incubated them at 35 degrees Celsius in a water bath to simulate the body temperature of animals. And after an hour, we were able to observe colorimetric change in some tubes. The observed results did not match the expected data. We hypothesized that the quadrupeduncle of the goldfish would have the fastest reaction. However, the thorax of the cricket had the fastest reaction. We know this because there was a color change from blue to white in tubes four for each trial. All other tubes remained blue. The white indicates that ATP was made and glycolysis was completed, I'm oh, sorry. So we believe the methods used alter the mitochondria activity. Club oil was used to put the goldfish under anesthesia and cervical dislocation was performed to the chicken. For future studies, we would investigate more effective methods that will preserve the mitochondrial activity.
Although the experiment did not support our hypothesis, it led us to new questions. Does natural selection play a role in developed muscles and therefore regions with larger amounts of mitochondria? And thank you for listening.